and it's still done. Above average, it's average. Go for ya. Is the sun or the miracle of calculus? The sun is the miracle of the
for this ride. You wouldn't beat him in a race. <laughs>
you, dear. The sadness of love.
morning, children. My name is Miss Honey. Miss Honey. And today is a very special day. The first day at school. Now, do any of you know any of your two times tables? Oh, wonderful. <coughs> Matilda, is it? Please stand and do as much as you can. One times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Five times two is ten. Six times two is twelve. Seven times two is fourteen. Eight times two is sixteen. Nine times two is eighteen. Ten times two is twenty. Eleven times two is twenty-two. Twelve times two is twenty-four. Oh my word, that's very good. Thirteen times two is twenty-six. Fourteen times two is twenty-eight. Fifteen times two is thirty. Sixteen times stop, two is... Stop, stop! Good heavens, how far can you go? Quite a long way, I guess. Do, do you think you could tell me what two times twenty-eight is? Fifty-six. Yes. Okay, now this is this is much harder, but don't worry if you don't get it right. But two times four hundred and eighty-seven. If you took your time, do you think you could? Nine hundred and seventy-four. What? Twelve sevens. Eighty-four. and take a look at reading. Can anybody tell me what this says? Oh, oh, me, me, I can't, I can't. Okay, oh, okay, here we go, it's Nigel. Yeah, I think, I think you better leave it there, Nigel. We don't want you to burst a blood vessel on your first day. Um, lavender. Is the first word tomato? No, but tomato is a very good word. Yes! Uh, Matilda. I can now read words. So, Matilda, you can read words? Yes, well, I need to learn to read words so I can read sentences because basically, sentences is a big bunch of words. And you can't. You have no chance for books. And have you read a whole book by yourself, Matilda? I love books. I read more than one. I, was, I read more last week. A few? In a week? Oh my, that's, that's very good. Uh, what books have you read? Nicholas Nickleby, Oliver Twist, Jane Eyre, Tess of the Key Early Bills, Oliver Twist, Lord of Rings, Kim, The Invisible Man, The Secret Garden, Crown Freshman, and The Sting of the Dark. Oh, that 
daughter of Mr. Harry Wormwood, who owns Wormwood Motors. Excellent man. Tell me to watch out for the brat. Though, she's a real wart. Oh, no, headmistress. I don't think Matilda's that kind of child at all. What's the school motto, Miss Honey? Faminatum est magnitum. Faminatum est magnitum. Children are magnets. In fact, it must have been her who put that stink bomb under my desk this morning. I'll have it for that. Thank you for suggesting. But I didn't. Miss Trenchel, Matilda Wormwood is a genius. Nonsense! How did I tell you she's a gangster? But she knows her times tables. So she's learned a few tricks. But she can read. So can I. <laughs> I have to tell you, Mistress, that in my opinion, this little girl should be placed in the top form with the 11 year What? But she's a squid, a squid. And then that's not, we can have just place her at the top of the 11 year -old. What kind of society would we be? What about rules, honey? Rules! Uh, I believe that Matilda Wormwood is an exception to the rules. An exception? To the rules. In my school? Look. Trophies see how my trophies gleam in the sunlight. See how they shine. What do you think it took to become English hammer throwing champion? 1949. Do you think in that moment when my big moment came that I treated the rules with casual disdain? Well, like hell. As I stepped into the circle, did I change? Believe. 
me, I've got green hair. I've got hair. What's this? Another flaming book? What's wrong with the telly? She's got to respect that one. It's all books and stories. No, it's a lovely book. I'm going to see you it. Lovely? That's what I think of you. Lovely? No, it's from the library. It's a library book.
boring at all. You see, he fell asleep and we put him in the coach for safety. Didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah! Yeah, probably he's gonna he thinks he's in bed when he wakes up. Oh, it's a time for school again, Mom. Hello? What am I doing here? This doesn't look like my bedroom at all. Oh, hi, Miss Trunchbull! <laughs>
know what interruptors do to my energy flow? What do you want, Ms. Chutney? It's too funny. And as you know, Matilda's in the bottom class, and children in the bottom class aren't really expected to read. Well, stop her reading, Lord knows we've tried. I'm in a zone, dog. I can feel it in my hips. Don't waste this.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on. Well, where? Oh. Did I not mention that was only part one of your punishment? The second part is. Sir.
Why? Is there a child behaving like a bully? Not a child, exactly. I'm telling you, are you sure something's not... Do you like the next part of the story? Story? Did you say story? Well, what are we waiting for?
55, hunkers on mine, hands all polished up. The mileage on the clock was telling the truth that each one was a um, and How could I possibly make the mileage go back? I could have very well drive each one backwards, could I? Backwards! That's when I had the most genius idea in the world. I ran to the workshop, grabbed my drill, and I attached the drill to the speedometer on the first car, turned it on, and rocked it into reverse. Backwards! Yes, backwards, backwards, exactly. A drill's motor rolls backwards a thousand times a second, and within minutes, I reduced the mileage on that old rust bucket to practically nothing. We did it to every single car. Backwards! Tell me, that's enough. That's enough. Ten minutes later, Russians show up. Great big nasty faced ace, dark glass and expensive suits. I don't know who they thought they were. Russians are not too long. I saw that on program last night. What happened? It was a program. Same thing. So, did it work?
have those books we spoke about, so if you'd like to start reading them. Uh, read those books for me? They're for Matilda. No, they're not. I don't know how much. You see, there's an age for reading, and there is an age for reading for every toad. These are toads, aren't you, Bob Trotter? Yes, Mr. Trotter. Yes, Mr. You see, Bob Trotter now is a good toad. Sit. I mean, it has become clear to me that you have no idea what you're doing. You believe in kindness and books and stories. That is not teaching. In order to teach the child, we must first break the child. Quiet, you maggots! But tell him what's thinking, Miss Trunchbull. Miss Honey, please understand that when I say quiet, you maggots, you are entirely included in that statement. Where's my jug of water? I'll get it, Miss Trunchbull. Stupid girl.
split of splits in its beating heart. But I tell you, I am a match for you. There's no lick I shall not go, nothing I shall not do, no punishment I shall not inflict, no finger I shall not stretch, no oh! What is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's heading up north! Oh, there's a mute in my pants! There's a mute in my pants! <laughs> well, that was interesting, but I think we'd better all go home now while we still can.
go to Chilton. You might have reminded me of the silent letters.
back and asked the apologist's daughter received a letter from the solicitor. It said that her parents' will had mysteriously turned up, and she was now the owner of the big, beautiful house, which had up until then been owned by the evil aunt, one Agatha Tronchu. After Miss Oakley, she moved in immediately. She was happy. Happy that she had ever As for Miss Tronchu, she was never seen again. The chokies were immediately destroyed, and a new headmistress took over. And the name was Miss Honey. And it was often said that she was the best teacher in all the land. Would you like to stay? 
Stitcher, 